Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here in Westport, Washington, and we're going after some Dungeness crab. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's a big, hard six inch right there. I figured I would show you guys a quick tutorial on exactly how to catch these Dungeness crab. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the right equipment. So you want some kind of pot. You want uh, about a hundred feet or however deep you're dropping the pot. You want some kind of heavy leaded wire or a rope rather, sorry. And you want a flotation device that has uh, your name and your address and stuff on it. And then of course you want your bait box that you can secure to the bottom and then you want your bait. So let me set up the camera really quick and show you guys exactly how to set this all up. So today I have a bunch of chicken legs and then I have some chicken gizzards and some delicious smelling chicken livers. I'm gonna take the bait box and I'm gonna secure it into the pot. Uh, for this pot that I have, I'm just gonna take it and secure it with this little bungee cord that it comes with. Just like that. And I'm gonna close the pot. So this is the basic pot setup that we have. And we have this sort of, uh, I don't know exactly what you call this, but this is the rope that attaches to the pot that lets it hang evenly like this and it attaches it to the main rope. This little buoy here is for keeping the line uh, floating above the pot so it doesn't get tangled. So I have a bunch of mess here so I'm gonna get that untangled and I'm just gonna toss the pot. The best part. I just consolidate my line and make sure my buoy my name on it is visible. And uh, that's it. Now we just wait about an hour or however long you really want to wait. You can let it soak for several hours and come back and there'll be probably some nice crab in there and we can check them out. I'll check in with you guys in a few hours when we come back and pull the pots. Welcome back. All right, it's been about two to three hours. We let them soak and we just did a little bit of fishing and this is actually the first pot which you guys did not see me throw. We pulled one of Mike's pots right before this and there was zero crabs in it. There was one crab, but it was a very small red rock, so my fingers are crossed, but my my expectations are very low. So let's see. That feels good though. So that's a lot of dungeons, but not any keepers. So these are all gonna go back. There's these little fish. I don't know what you call these. If you guys know what these are, put a, drop a comment and let me know because I'm pretty curious. We think they're like gunnels, it's a gunnel. gunnels or something. That's what it is. I know what it is. We don't know. I just sure. told you. I don't believe <laughs> They're gunnels, everyone. Trust me. All right, we're gonna pack this pot up. We're gonna load it in the car and then we're gonna go check out the other pot. So I'll see you over there. All right, so for those of you that, that don't know, this man right here has zero sense of smell, and I kid you not, zero sense of smell. So we're gonna do a little test. I had some dead trout and shad sitting in this bucket overnight, and it stinks really bad. Dude, so we're gonna, we're gonna do a test. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh yeah, there it is. Look at that jelly, huge. Venomous. Venomous, huge jelly. Anyways. You're not gonna get much of a reaction out of me. Let's see. Uh, what? Mm. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, no way. No way. Is it that bad? It's awful. Here we it's, go. It's <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> this pot is gonna have two keepers in it. Guaranteed. Two guaranteed. Half a keeper ain't bad. This pot is gonna have two keepers in it. Guaranteed. 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 Real heavy. Wait, this is your pot. This is your pot. Is it? This is your pot. No, no. Oh, this is not my pot, dude. Wait. <laughs> this is. I think this is Brad's pot. 
It was my touch. pot. This is I you. Gave it to That's Brad. you, dude. Brad, I pulled the wrong pot. Oh, you pulled Brad's pot? Yeah, I'm putting it back in the water. Okay, so no, this is not so my I pot. remember I got I, <laughs> <laughs> so that's apparently one of their pots. <laughs> it, uh, confusion. But, it's simple to explain. I sold him one of my pots. So when I saw this, it has my buoy, <laughs> the same type of line. I thought it was mine, but no, mine's actually right over there. I would think so this is a little too shallow for you to be wanting to put one of your pots, huh? No wonder. See, I told you, two keepers, guaranteed. Guaranteed. All right, take two. And this time, I am pulling my pot, and it's gonna have two keepers in it. All right, guaranteed. see. Guaranteed. Oh, this feels heavier. There's keepers in there. Guaranteed. Oh, oh it's a big one. Dude, that's a pretty big one. Yeah. I think that's a keeper. Oh my God, look at your shad. <laughs> Dude, you got massacred. So, this was the bait. <laughs> was. Somebody was hungry, huh? Give your gauge. Oh shit. <laughs> I saw you pulling a pot and I'm just like, he was like, damn, he put his pot in the same dog as us. And then I look, I always saw mine. I'm just like, what the f like? I, we were walking over here. I was like, oh yeah, there's my pot. Cause it looks like my pot. Wait, there's you don't there. have your gauge? No, I, I, I don't know what happened. Right, you I had run. it for the last dog. Go get it. I'm gonna go get it. Well, we, we can measure them up here. Dollar to dollar. Is it keeper? Is it bigger? Oh yeah, they're pot, don't worry. I'm gonna just take a look. So this location in Washington, actually you need the crabs to be six inches. The the bill, the dollar bill is a trick we use sometimes if we don't have the crab gauge, which is like the tool they use to measure the crab. And uh, yeah, we're gonna double check that when we get to the car though, just to make sure. But, but it was a lot bigger than the dollar bill, so we're pretty confident. It was a lot bigger, yeah, as you saw, so we'll see. All right, so this is actually the crab gauge. And from here, all the way to this one is six inches. So you measure the crab on what's called the carapace, I think. So you make sure that's in there. And as you can see, this one is way past that middle, that middle one there. So. There's a keeper for sure. And there he goes. Let's go check the other ones. Hail Mary time. As usual, I don't know why every time I go fishing, there needs to be a Hail Mary, but lately that's how it's been. So here we go. Ooh. Oh. Well, are you tired? Oh! That's a keeper right there. Go, little gunnel. Oh, he's hard as he's hard as hell, dude. Oh, he's so hard. Feel him. Mm, that's so good. Hard. He's big and hard. Dude, look at that. Everything you want. That's a dangerous location. Give it. Look up. Dude, that's a six incher. You think so? That's a big, hard six incher right there right under the little points here. Right there, one end, and then boom. This is a six and a quarter, actually. More, More than six, six and a quarter, quarter. yeah. That's a hell of a keeper. Hey, that red rock's getting wet, always gone. All right, the rest of these are too small, so we're gonna toss them back, clean the pot, pack up the car, go back to Seattle, take a nap, eat some Dungeness crab. Anyways, that's how you catch Dungeness crab. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, drop me a comment, let me know what you think, if you wanna see anything. Love hearing the comments. You guys are super awesome. And uh, until next time, tight lines, y'all. Uh, I'm going home, bro. What do you guys do? Don't blame your problems on me. Bye. See, see you guys. <laughs> They're not happy about that, huh? Yo, f you. Fix that. Hey, oh, Mike. Don't Mike, don't help Mike. Mike, don't. don't. Do I'm, I'm a nice guy. Wait, how do you do this? Just pull it down. Pull? Yeah. No, 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 like that. Rotate it, rotate it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. Thank God. You mean push down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>